I'm gonna be unprofessional okay. for a minute, so I have to tell you something. Mm -hmm. I just, I just had a dad. Yeah. Wait, did I just tell Karamo Brown from Queer Eye that I gave birth to a dad? Look how handsome and confused he is. Give me one second. I'll, I'll explain. This is dude to dad. Fee, submitted for the approval of the Dad Knight Society, I now present to you Father Fears, tales of the macabre that run through the heads of new fathers as they are trying to get their two hours of sleep a night. <laughs> Sorry, you know I'm a messy bitch who loves drama. You know that feeling when you're lying in bed on Sunday night and you're trying to get to sleep and your brain is like, hey, instead of sleep, what if I just ran you through every nightmare scenario you've ever had in your life and you question your entire existence? Being a new parent is like that all the time. What if he never sleeps? What if he's dead? What if he's dead right now and the monitor isn't working? What if the monitor looks like it's working, but in reality what's happened is somehow it is looping the same image of him asleep like Keanu Reeves did in order to trick Dennis Hopper in speed. No! No! And he's actually dead. Many dads have these fears. My brain is filled with spiders. It's just kind of incredible how taxing it is to constantly be worried about your child. I posted on Facebook to see if I could get some other fatherly fears out there. Here's what people said. I'm afraid he'll try and make a living as a professional musician. Even worse, a comedian. Worried that he'll find out something shitty I did when I was young and stupid and he'll think less of me. Like maybe a vlog? I'm worried I'll die young and I won't leave enough money for my daughter or my wife. I mean, I'm worth more dead than alive now, I think. This is some George Bailey shit. Merry Christmas, you old Bailey loan! Merry Christmas, Bedford Falls! Clarence, you can't stop me from killing myself! I'm due to dad! Sorry, it's the one impression I can do. So these are all great fears, but there's one that really resonates with me. And I'll pass down traits to him that have made my life tough at times. You know, a lot of dads, I think, want to have a son or a daughter that's like them, and I actually wanted the opposite. For most of my life, I have not liked myself. Part of it is genetics, part of it is environment. I had a good childhood and I had a good upbringing, and I still feel this way all the time. You know, depression has kept me from taking a lot of risks. It's almost the reason I didn't have kids, and I don't want to pass that on to my son. This is what makes this time so great. He doesn't feel any of these feelings. And I've been doing my best. I've been going to therapy. I've been trying to change my behavior. But how can you make someone happy when you're not happy? And how can you teach someone how to live when you're not sure how to live? Who do you turn to? Okay, here's the deal. Caitlin and I, having a newborn, have been watching a lot of TV. This is what happens. You put the baby to bed, you're kind of waiting for the baby to get up again, so you sit on the couch, you both scroll through Instagram, you watch something mindless, and your body congeals into a fine parenting yogurt. I know this sounds like hyperbole, but when we found the new Queer Eye on Netflix, it was like we had gained five new husbands. We just fell in love. We just cried and cried at every episode. How hard do me and my wife cry at this show? It's like we're watching it on an airplane. There are movies and shows and songs that are tied to enormous moments in your life. The first song you play when you drive your first car. The DVD menu that's playing on a loop the first time you had sex. I tell you what it was not. is <laughs> not The Matrix. <laughs> I am, for better or worse, always going to associate Netflix Queer Eye with the first couple of months of my baby. My wife got me this shirt for Father's Day. I, I guess you could say we're a little bit obsessed. Side note, a little bit of dad advice here. Your first Father's Day is kind of going to stink. Your wife is too tired, you're too tired, the baby doesn't know it's Father's Day. There's no way you're getting something good. The best first Father's Day gift is probably a nap. That sucks. Sorry. Sorry. Queer Eye was a big part of these first couple of months. So you can imagine how excited I was when I saw this message. 
was getting the chance to meet Karamo Brown, the guy who I had developed a fake relationship through my television. I mean, I can't even remember the last time I was this excited. Oh, I can't believe he's here. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was good. For those of you who don't know who Karamo Brown is, he's the guy who has the big, open-hearted, meaningful conversations. And now, he was gonna have one with me. It's always hard to meet your heroes. With that said, Karamo Brown did not disappoint. Hey, how's it going? I'm Evan, nice Karamo, to meet you. Nice How are you? I actually get hugged, but come hey. on. Yeah. Because okay, you came in very, very professional. I was like, very professional. let me stick with it. Well, actually, let me be unprofessional. Okay. Yeah. I just had a dad. Yeah. Son. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. amazing. I have a dad. Yeah. Me and my wife, uh, we were on the up all the time with him. He's a newborn, and we watched the show a bunch. And so she didn't even know that this was going to happen. Yeah. And so for Father's Day, she actually got me this. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to see one of these in person. Because I see people all the time with these. That's amazing. Isn't that funny? It's pretty rich. <laughs> I'm sending your wife a message first of all to thank her for that. I knew that Karamo wasn't going to solve all my problems. Deal with all the time. Phenomenal. Thank you. Rolled properly. The collar shirt is great. The blues on blues are phenomenal. Oh my god. You even have blue socks on. I can't believe which this is, is great. I can't believe this is happening. Your hair is great. This is incredible. I did know the question I wanted to ask Karamo. I have a fear, this, this fear of passing on some self-esteem issues to my son. Mm -hmm. And how can you train yourself? How can you change behavior? in order for him to change behavior and like you said earlier, potentially break some of the cycles that are passed down. Well, you're doing the first thing very right and I'm gonna give you a big applause. Mm -hmm. It's acknowledging it and acknowledging it publicly. So the fact that you as a man are able to express that you are working on your mental health, that you have self-esteem issues and you don't want your son to have those, is probably the strongest and best thing you can do for yourself for your family and for yourself. Um, and then the second thing is that once you notice that behavior, uh, not putting your fears onto your child. So if you do see some behavior that resembles yours, instead of going to your child and saying, I think this may be happening, mm -hmm. give them the space to communicate about what's going on. Third, understand there's a community of people around you who can help you with that, whether it's therapists, counselors, there's also mentorship programs that can support you as a dad, and also making sure that you know, you're doing activities together to support them in their mental health and self-esteem. There goes your three steps. That's great. You're already step one. You, yeah, you broke it down. They say you shouldn't meet your heroes, but if your hero is Karamo Brown, you definitely should meet him. Go check out the interview that I did with Karamo on YouTube. Check out this incredible piece on Fatherly that Lizzie Francis wrote. It is awesome. Karamo's story about becoming a dad is incredible. You should definitely go check it out. If you have fears about parenting, if you just have fears in general, put them in the comments, write to me, go on the Dude to Dad Facebook page. We can talk about it. Um, that's how I have been coping. And Rory, when you watch this someday, I want you to know that it's okay to have fear. Because fear gives you the opportunity to be brave. Thanks for watching this week. Oh, and just in case you were wondering, Karamo did make a video message for my wife, and he smelled amazing. Um, hey hon, uh, it's me, I'm just working today, um, but I made a friend. Yes you did! <laughs> Congratulations on the baby! Um, you have an amazing husband here and he only glows when he talks about you and the baby. Um, congrats. Thank you for watching the show while you're milking and everything else. Yeah, that's right. Milking, that sounds so like horrible. Mm -hmm. Milking. Yeah. I meant that's... like feeding. Feeding, there yes. you go. <laughs> that's right, and uh, Rory I'm sure will say hi yes. back as well. Yeah. And thanks for this shirt. Yeah. I haven't seen one in person yet. <laughs> and I've been wanting to see one in person, so I appreciate this. Mm. Like, thanks. Bye. Like and subscribe for more Dude to Dad videos every Sunday on Fatherly.